In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build a Lego beach. My name is Davide and this is a Brick Dreamer. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been some time, it has been some time I don't do a Lego tutorial, so here we go today. I build a Lego beach and I'm gonna give you some ideas on how to add some accessories and some beach furniture to your uh, build. In this case, I use a 32 by 32 base plate, but of course there are many ways to build a, a beach layout. Uh, let's start walking backwards into this uh, uh, build and I'm gonna show you all the different accessories and techniques that I use here. Uh, the last step of the build was of course adding the minifigure that always had to give life uh, to the build. Here we have our Batman, we have a minifigure in the water, as you know you can just remove the legs and put the minifigure in a body of water uh, to make a good uh, position. We have a fisherman, we have a kid playing with the sand castle. And you can always, I always recommend to use these minifigure stand because they're very useful to create a dynamic pose. Okay, now let's start from the small accessories. Now, of course, we are on the beach, so the sand castle is very easy, straightforward. You can pick up any random uh, 10 bricks, uh, maybe a little large like this is good. And you can create your own sand castle big or small that's all up to you and it's very easy very straightforward and you can just add a bucket some ac accessories on the side uh, another thing that you might want to add is beach towels so this one is a very simple technique you can just build it up uh, with bricks plates tiles and then you can create a space of the same size and just put it inside in this case i have a uh, tile underneath so it's coming off slightly higher than the sand so that is looking perfectly like a towel if you want you can also use some uh, of these wedge plates to create a diagonal uh, pose for this i didn't have enough of this uh, but potentially you can do it you just need to create uh, the space sideways and it look great as well uh, another addition that you can do is to add some proper sun bed. In this case, I use two uh, very similar techniques and you can do it based on your uh, parts inventory, of course. In this case, we have a base of four and we have a flag piece connected to a, a modified plate. In this case, it's the other way around. So the modified tile here is connected to the modified plate for this part at the back of the head. So it's basically the same build, but uh, built in the opposite way. So here, of course, you can mix and match your colors in the way you like. And you can also create a little uh, umbrella. Uh, in this case, I have an antenna piece. Through the antenna, I run this around the jumper tile so that we have a sort of table halfway and then here I use this on top connected with a transparent part that can connect there and then attach a dish on top so this give, allow me to rotate slightly the umbrella of course there are many different ways to create these accessories guys and you can be creative and create your own uh, what I wanted to do here is create a little tower for the lifeguard. So we have the, the boy here for the, for the lifeguard. And then here is what I came up with. So I wanted to create a sort of uh, stair that looks a little bit smaller. Of course, this one you can create it very big, very tall. Uh, you can make it like a little hat. Uh, here I wanted something a little bit more minimalistic. So I decided to clip this one by three jumper with the grills on top and connect it there and give a slight angle. So that would be the ladder. And then here I just used two pieces. Uh, this is our old part that come from uh, uh, ships, I think. And here we have a minifigure seat. It gives it a nice angle and I can just connect it at the back there so it looks like this is all in one, is all one build. And then we can just uh, attach the accessory on the side. Now, another thing I added is a little tile over here. 
Uh, if you want to add a little sharky to your beach, you can just take one of these triangle tiles, add it, added it in between the studs, and there you have your little shark fin coming up. Now, you can also create a jetty, and this one also you can create it in many, many different ways. Uh, what I did here is create something like a similar structure to the one in the bonsai tree at the base. So basically you are alternating uh, the tiles between one by one and jumper plates. That will allow you to have a, a little bit of spacing in between. Of course, you can make this as stick as you want. You can add plates at the bottom. You can even build uh, sideways if you want. So there are many different ways to build this. This is pretty straightforward. You don't need many parts. I added a couple of supports at the front and a, la a couple of uh, details as well over here so that you can, for example, attach one of these seagull. Okay, another simple technique over here. I wanted to add this surfboard like if it's stuck in, inside the sand. So again, I create a space like we did for the towel before. Uh, I added a little bit of extra tiles on the side and that modified uh, plate so that we can just put this inside and it's looking like if it's inside the sand. Now since we are on this side we can see the shower. I added two grill pieces over there and then here is the structure uh, for this. This is actually one big part that I don't know exactly what is this uh, but I have a few of these laying in my collection so I thought this was a perfect piece to use in a shower connect with the rounded uh, bricks and then a tap on top with a dish and some transparent uh, trans blue uh, cone as the water coming down. Of course, this as well, you can do it in many different ways. You can just use antenna pieces like this one uh, with a tap on top. You can do it in many, many different ways. Uh, now, let's talk about the beach volley core that I think is one of the most interesting part. Uh, let me see if I can make this a little bit darker so you can see better. Okay, let's start from the, the base first. So this is the same technique that I used for the towers. Very straightforward. I create a base over here, starts on the side. Uh, you can create the lines in white, in blue, in whatever color you want. Here I have a modified brick so that I can attach the jumpers and everything slide in and create the surface of the beach volley court. Of course, you can do different colors. You can use different direction. You can make it two big blocks up to you. And it's a good idea always to add a few uh, studs open on the side with modified bricks so that you can then post the mini figure. But the interesting part I think is the net. Uh, so probably you would see other builders using uh, something like this, fence pieces. The problem is that I don't like how wide they are over here, or maybe they can use some other fences like this one, uh, but it all feels all a little bit too bulky. So what I came up with is this. So this is the structure that I came up with. Uh, we have this at the bottom connected to a candle piece upside down. Then we have a one by one with the hole, again upside down, and there we connect one edge of the string with one modif uh, sorry one round uh, brick, and then the other edge of the string. So this is what it looks like once it's connected. So we have the two edges on the same side, and the string go on like this. Now we end up with one of these space to attach on one side. In this way, you can just get a, the same structure on the other side, basically, add one extra uh, one by one, one other plate, and a modified plate on the other side. So you can see that now the structure is the same height, basically, and we have a clip to connect this side over here. Uh, of course, you will have to find the right uh, spacing in terms of jump area uh, to have the right uh, tension on this. I think this looks quite okay. 
uh, when you look at it, it looks like a like a net, even if there's nothing in between. But at this scale, uh, we are in minifigo scale, I think it works out pretty well. Of course, you can do the court in whatever size you want. You can make it smaller, you can make it longer. That's completely up to you. Uh, but now let's move on and let's talk about the other, uh, the last couple of features that I have over here. So here we have a sort of uh, changing room. Uh, this is another very simple structure. We have a four by four base. Then I went up with bricks of two colors. You can pick your color that you like on both sides. Top it on top with some uh, slopes. At the front, I brick build the door. Uh, but if you want, you can just add a regular uh, Lego door of, of your favorite color. So here inside, I added a modified brick. Here we have a plate with some jumpers. And to those jumpers, then I went and attached uh, all my tiles to create a little bit of decoration. This connects there. Now it's all solid and it goes and connect there. Uh, over here, I create also some stairs. I create also a little bit of a uh, wall. Uh, so imagine that on this side, then we have the city, we have the sidewalk and the people can access the, the beach. And also here I create a, a little palm tree. So uh, what we usually used to have was uh, this kind of structure for palm trees with this that can be uh, moved around with this one on top and with this kind of leaves, which I think is a bit uh, too vintage for this setup. Uh, you can still use the same structure, which is pretty good and connect with this one that looks uh, definitely nicer. But if you don't have any of these, of course, you can just use some columns or you can break build something up and it will look fine anyway. What I have in my collection is these two pieces, uh, these sort of big tails that can connect to each other to which then I attach the leaves on top. And then I have a simple technique parts here. You can connect this and then sideways there. And then we have a nice looking uh, palm tree. Uh, the last thing to talk about is the beach itself. Here I wanted to save parts. So I basically bu brick build it up. Inside there are many different color. And I went with a mix of tiles and uh, studs. Uh, so it's smooth and studs mixed on top. You can choose whatever style you like. If you want it all with studs, if you want it all flat, if you want to use loops, that's up to you. I think the better way is to make it a little bit uh, smaller, not this thick, uh, but you can just build it uh, using plates. Uh, you can go as high as you want. You can mix it up. I think that's the better way, but of course it's a little bit more part intensive. Uh, same, of course, goes for, goes for the water. So here I'm just using the blue uh, base plate, but if you have the parts, you can tile everything up like I did in this build. And I think that's the best looking way, like in many sets, like in Ninjago City sets, uh, the water will look great if you have the parts available with you. Otherwise, you can even go even more and create waves and other effects like I did in other of my builds you can, you can find on my channel. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, uh, quick tutorial. Uh, let me know what you think about it. And if you want to see more Lego tutorial, drop a comment down below and let me know what you would like to see. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.